happy while I did there. My house was always my reference choice, where I felt safe, supported, and I could be myself. I felt like a person there. I was part of society. Then life got difficult. Problems started to appear one after the other. Some were my fault, and others came from the context I found myself in and the relationship I was forging with the wrong crowd. In a very, very short time, I found myself on my own, without any resources to lie on, to help me, or to support me. My whole world, my life fell apart when I found myself kicked out of the house, on the street. That's the moment when you become aware, you realize what you've lost, what it means to have a house, a home. You end up on the street because you have no support, because the ones you had won't take you back. You feel anxious, frustrated, your self-esteem disappears, and above all, you're lonely, very, very lonely. When you're out on the street, you do a lot of walking. Your feet are killing you all the time. You can't fix them, or even stay clean when you want to. And you get to the point where the only thing you worry about is not getting sick. When you're out on the street and you see other people with their children and their families, you tend to compare them with what you used to have, with the inevitable feeling of loss and vulnerability. When you're out on the street, the mental side pushes you to the limit. You've got nothing to eat, you can't rest, you're scared of getting robbed or mugged. It takes a while to realize that you've hit rock bottom, that life is constantly very, very fragile. It's difficult going back to your family when you're on the street. You feel you have lost love. You have no support. You don't have what they call a social network to support you and act as a safety. Society changes us into not human beings. They behave like that because they don't understand. They run away. They tend to abandon you. Some even say to you, brought this on yourself. They shouldn't be so selfish or protect themselves from their surroundings. We too are human beings. Back in the day, we had a house, a job, a family, just like everybody else. This can happen to anyone. A health problem, depression, and you can end up on the street. We don't choose to live on the street with no right. Because we want to be like the rest, we want people to listen to us. It's not a privilege to have a house, it's a right. Access to it shouldn't be something you have to earn. It's something that, that society can afford. Having somewhere to come back to, where somebody could be waiting for you, where you can sit down in comfort, a place where you have a table to eat on, a shower to eat, a bed to sleep in. In short, a home to come back to, to be in. Is that asking too much? There are a lot of us who have been traveling for a long time, going absolutely nowhere. People don't realize how tiring this is, both physically and mentally. That is why it's so important to have a destination. There is always a destination that people reach, but what is our destination? Where is that rest and safety that we so badly need? Your house can replace the world, but the world can never replace your house. For a decent roof over our heads, and no more homeless abandoned in the street.